Coming up in this episode, I spend an afternoon with the laughing assassin himself, Chris from CJW Sporting, as he is getting the hides ready and clearing out the drain ready for the duck season. If you feed them, will they come? Yes, they will. Lou gives us away from her hide on her first morning flight of the season. And Lexi shows she's the main team member of CJW Sporting. You're watching. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm out with Chris pre-season actually. It's, it's the last week of August. Uh, I joined Chris for the afternoon and film him making his hides up and clearing the reeds from his drain and then uh, feeding his drain and he gives us a rundown how he does things, gets his uh, hides and all that ready for his clients for shooting the drain. Then a week later, well, the first time he shoots it, actually, he invites me for the morning and Louise, one of his clients. Uh, so in this video, what I've done on the morning flight, to give you a full experience of how things went for me, and that because uh, a lot of us, a lot of the recording when you duck shooting can only be in daylight and you don't get the full effect of things. So what I've done, if you bear with the video, you'll get from the start of the morning as we get into the hides, uh, and then you'll get the first shots, which you won't see the birds, you'll just see the shots. And that, then as the morning goes on, from half light to when we finish, and then at the end uh, you, there's some picking up. With Lexi and that, it's, it's one of the best edits yet, I think. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you do enjoy the video, please remember to hit that like button and leave a comment. As I keep saying, not just myself, not my channel, all channels need your support at the moment with the way things are going. Uh, there's channels being removed off YouTube, and there's some of the big channels, and I'm only a small channel. So if you want to keep seeing these videos, do your bit to help us by giving it a thumbs up, leaving a comment. And, that, and if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell in the top right hand corner so you get a notification every time there's a new video come out. Like I say, if you want to keep seeing these videos, then support us, else they're going to be a thing of the past. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. So what are you doing, Chris? Well, I need for the hides in the bottom of the drain. I need uh, every year the reed cut comes through and seems to like taking the hides out. So um, on one side, but uh, what I'm doing is cutting as straight as I can bits of uh, upright. That'll squat, push into the mud. And then I've left the, the V's in the top um, to, to put a crossbar on. Yeah. So I'll have two, two, like, two uprights and a crossbar. And I fold the reeds over the top as you'll see later. Yeah. And then I'll build it round the sides, so there'll be another one there, so that's three, and then there'll be another one, a little one there, it's a short one, so you've got a screen if the ducks come round the back. Yeah. You'll see all that when they're complete. You like looking after your clients, mate, don't you? Well, the art to good shooting is somebody being comfortable. If you're not comfortable, you stick, you know, and you're struggling, you, you don't shoot straight, and then you end up with a lot of wounded birds, and we don't like that. So, uh, clean kills and uh, comfortable shooting, that's what about so and people enjoy it so. so this is where we're going to be shooting in just come to build the hides up with chris clear it, out. clear it all out um yeah as you just probably seen from the intro to the video there's quite a few duck here so yeah there's an old fox here for something here i think we're going to make a bit of an idea yeah, yeah, originally a fox surf this was, so we'll uh, we'll get on and start making the hides. And Chris is just going across to have a look, see what's happening. Where the old hide is. Where the old hide is. You see us shoot this drain last year. There was me um, and Andreas, we shot it one morning. Yeah, it's a bit deep, bro, is it? Times like this, you realise when you've got an hole in your chest, waders are filling up. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll bring you back in a bit when we get home. Yeah, I've got, bought a hammer. 
hand sickle for cutting these reeds. Makes the job a lot easier. It'd be more control than using a knife slashing. And all I basically do is on a big bundle of them, I get my arm round them, pull it to me, keep going. Behind me, then I'm not clogging all the water way up, you see. So, never so easy with this. There wasn't really much to do to the first hide or the framework, and that was there from last year. So, basically, Chris had to cut the reeds and just gather the reeds around the hide. So, I line the reeds up the side here, the ducks like to come out and sit on it, you see. Yeah, just saying, there's a lot of work goes into it, and you know? people don't realize, is oh, there? Yeah. It's more than just feeding, isn't it? I've been feeding it since 12th of all. That's the last little bit then, mate. That's the job done. It's got to keep... It's all full of weed, you see. I can't... I feel a Jeremy Beadle video coming up here. Fenland tiger got web feet, I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> So what are you doing here now then Chris? Now, right, you... where this foxhole was originally. Yeah, you cleaned the bottom out, I see, where they chuck the rubbish in, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, where, when they dredge it, it, it usually fills in with just dead um, vegetation, like that, yeah? Yeah. Um, and then uh, just to scrape it back out, we've got a seat here. Yeah. At this end. Um, the ducks predominantly, well they all come from behind. Where your head, behind yeah. there, and yeah. sit there and that's why it's good on a morning flight here more than a night flight because you've got the sun rising and the ducks just coming out and it's, it's just, well it's just spectacular when they start to come. Yeah. And then um, I say you just creep, creep, crouch forward here. If they come round this side, you just up the bank. So I'll put a, a stick in here. And these ones are a lot shorter than them ones over there. So put a stick in here. Um, so far, another one here, a bit longer. Yeah. And then another one there. And then another one across the back here. Yeah. And then I'll go and cut some more reeds and le lean them all up the top side of it, you see. Right. When the reed cutters come through and that, I can grab a load from them because as they as they rot down and, and what have you, it, um, you know, it gets a bit threadbare um, and you can see through it. So I never bother with uh, any artificial hides or anything like that on, on an environment like this. Everything's natural from the sticks and the reeds. There's no string. Um, like I say, any any man-made material, so that when the reed cutters and the flower mows come through, anything that's chopped up degrades. And you have to do this every year, every do you? Every year. And this, yeah. this one, I'll probably have to do this three times because for some reason, it's tractor drivers that they, you know, they've got no no sense. They just get going forward and they've got to plow straight through it all. That's another reason why I don't use man-made materials. I'd like to put some metal scaffold bars in here so it wakes the tractor driver up when he hits it. But uh, he just seems to keep ploughing through it. So I've even tried screaming all this so he doesn't have to plough mow both sides. Now Mr. Tractor Driver's still got to plough through it. So he must be an anti, I can only presume. Alright. <laughs> right mate, we'll crack on then.
that's it then. Yeah, wait for the season. Speed in time. Seem to have had a load. I put a bag in two days ago and it's all, all but gone. So a good number of ducks getting on here. This should last us until we uh, shoot it in a so minimum amount of disturbance with it being wild quarry. So uh, the least dis disturbance, the better really. Um, so yeah, here we go. Right, that's it done. Screws the wind pollution, but can't help it. There's both the hides done. Roll on when we shoot it. One week later. I'm all set and the yard ready. Gun loaded. Wait to see what comes. As you can see, losing the hide already and Chris is stood behind her. Calling the shots. One coming in. One, that one I'm out the back. Coming in. Coming in. You've got one. So I keep calling out how many I've shot to Chris because Chris is clicking them. That way we can keep a tally on the morning. So when it comes to pick up, we know how many we've got and we're not looking for extra birds that we think we've got. In. Sharp. Well done, Lou. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
two. Have I got two? Just has been out to have a pick up. Five tail on the mallet. Fill out this side as well, aren't we? Fill in the drain. So what do you reckon to that then, Lou? Absolutely amazing. Yeah? Yeah, it's so exciting. My heart was beating so fast. But after I'd hit my first one, the nerves sort of, yeah, they left me a little bit. And then a uh, nice little right and left, which is yeah. really good. Yeah, crack it. So quick though, aren't they? Yeah, especially in the half light as well. Yeah, very, very enjoyable.
Hi guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have enjoyed that video, please don't forget to hit that like button. Also, leave a comment if you feel comfortable. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and then click the notification bell in the top right hand corner of your screen. So that way, every time I post a video, you'll get a notification from YouTube that I posted one. Also, I'd like to thank Chris from CJW Sporting for the invite. As you can see from the video, it was a fantastic morning. I wanted to give you the experience that we have from you guys that don't get a chance to do this sort of thing. So from shooting in the dark up until daylight. Also, the work that goes in to uh, getting the ducks there. and that. It's just not as simple as feeding them. There's a lot of work goes in there, as you can see from this video. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. I hope to see you all soon. Bye for now.